called Sunday, November 5th, low 30s, essentially no wind, but it's supposed to be a, a light south wind. We are back in the pond set on the little peninsula. It's right at the neck of the peninsula where it meets the WRP, blowing our wind back over the river. And we're in here after fits. We didn't see him yesterday. We sat almost all day. But the day before we saw him three times, so. It's that time of year where you don't know if he's gonna get locked down with one of the first does or if he's still out running around. But based on Fitz's patterns, I think this is one of the best places to catch up with him. So we have a few options on the south wind, but I thought we'd come sit a nice long morning here with a, a truer wind. Last time we were in here two days ago, we, uh, we got down early because the wind was swirling everywhere. So we're going to put a few hours in this morning and see if he shows up. Cool, man. Dude, that is that's unbelievable. It's so neat to be able to see that. Unobstructed. Just taking a bath. About 11.30 and we have not uh, seen any deer since the last update. We were able to watch a bald eagle take a bath in the river, which was pretty cool. But things have um, been quiet. All the deer that are in here are bedded down. We're not seeing much for cruising other than the squirrels. So we're going to pack up and make a move for the afternoon and we'll see you guys there.
hard spot to trip at least. I think we got these nice mud lanes. I have two feet down. We are all set up for the afternoon. We're back in this little pin oak on this farm lane that comes out of the central timber. Got the green plot, got all the acorns, just again, tons of deer right here. I think a lot of the deer that bed back in this section of the farm end up somewhere in the vicinity of this. So I feel like it's one of our better uh, places to catch up with them in the afternoon. It is about 62 degrees, so it's pretty warm. We have a south southeast wind which just blows it right back up the slough here it's a good setup i really we've had some great hunts right here and had deer under us you know all evening both times and haven't gotten picked off so we try it one more time hopefully he shows up Can you see him? Can you see it, baby? Oh, that's what I'm at. That's funny. He's perfectly behind the little green bag. That block is just standing there.
That's baby eight. I don't know where that seven pointer is. It's so weird. Let's see what this 10 does. He's just watching. He won't move a muscle. It's crazy. was a fun set. I mean, for 62 degrees and 15 mile an hour plus winds, uh, I wasn't sure what kind of activity we'd see. It started not long after we sat down and it never stopped. Same sort of thing early, a lot of does and fawns kind of coming out to eat, but um, this time a lot of little bucks in the area kind of pushing around. Not a, not a ton of, say, rutting activity as far as bucks pushing each other off and stuff like that it, it it feels like it's two weeks ago when these little bucks were nudging does around and all the older age class bucks which the oldest one we saw I would say it's four um we saw five bucks that were three or older um you know a lot of times they just were standing there looking and they'd see another buck walk by and wouldn't come towards them or anything and just turn and walk the other way and some interesting interesting to see some of that behavior but I will not be out tomorrow. I've got to work, um, but I am off on November 7th, and so I'll be back out on Tuesday. Before we let you guys go, I wanted to say um, the name announcement for that Sneezy Buck. This has been a whole month, and Ryan and I keep forgetting, but we got a lot of great suggestions, and um, the one where I decided to go with is uh, Quinnen Williams, a uh, football player that sneezed in an interview and then blessed himself. It's the perfect name I thought there was actually multiple people that suggested it but the first person too was uh, Green Man Dan and so Rye's going to reach out to you and uh, send you some Chase in November apparel also our partners at UC Hunting Properties have another property they like to feature uh, a large property in Tennessee and um, it's in an area known as Deer Valley so what more could be better but anyway you guys enjoy that video and then we'll see you next time we're out My name is Jared Richardson with United Country Richardson Real Estate and Auction here in Linden, Tennessee. And I'm on this fabulous track of land here, 1,765 acres known as Deer Valley in Linden, Tennessee. It's woods, water, and wildlife. A beautiful creek runs down the center of the property. Timberland is very diverse, whether it be for white-tailed deer, squirrel hunting, uh, turkey hunting. Uh, we have a lot of wildlife in this area. There's five different box blinds that are currently set up that will go with the property. You know, they're set out in some key locations and, and have all produced deer. This is turnkey and it's ready to go. Uh, you just show up and go hunting. A very diverse 
stand of timber. You have a lot of hardwood. Uh, you have some that has been thinned. Uh, then you have a couple hundred acres of pine. And it's really diverse for the wildlife as well as investment for the timber value. If you're looking for a property in Tennessee, this track of land is located on the edge of Middle and West Tennessee between Memphis and Nashville. We're about five miles, six miles out of Linden, Tennessee, approximately seven miles to the Tennessee River. Uh, the property lays just off Highway 412. When you come into the property on the paved road, there are several trails uh, throughout the property. It, it has a, a great trail system uh, for ATVs, uh, UTVs, or, or just being able to access the property for hunting or recreation, horse riding, uh, whatever you would like to do. Deer Valley here is not only a hunting mecca for this area, it also offers a lot of investment potential. It would make a great wedding venue. You have all your utilities here, you have city water, uh, you have underground electric. With all the cabins, uh, you have income potential from renting those out. Uh, whether it be short-term rentals or long-term rentals. Being close to the Tennessee River and the Buffalo River, you have opportunity to set up campground here. And overall, that would not affect the ability to hunt this property given the size of it. Of course, you have development potential. This property has a private cafeteria with equipment in it, uh, a dining hall with a beautiful fireplace, it also has a private gymnasium with classrooms, it has a ball field. So this property is, is very unique and offers many, many possibilities. It's very rare uh, to be this size and with this much opportunity, whether it's investment, whether it's you're wanting to cut timber, uh, if you're wanting to set up your own private community, uh, I mean, literally, you can do just about anything you want to do with this track of land. And, and it really is a premier property. If you're looking for a truly unique track of land, this track of land is it, the 1,765 acres at Deer Valley. It has woods, water, and wildlife. If you would like uh, more information or you would like to view this property, give me a call at 931-589-2455. My name is Jared Richardson with United Country Richardson Real Estate and Auction.